Okay, here we're going to look at how the leading coefficient affects the shape of a parabola. So we've got some parabolas here and it says look at the graphs and their equations and then fill in the information about the leading coefficients a, b, c, and d. So basically we've got to select three things for each of these four graphs. Okay, There's three parts. The first part for each of these choose whether it's a positive or negative for each coefficient. So basically we're just being asked to determine whether or not the A value here is positive or negative, whether B is positive or negative, etc. Then part B, it says to choose the coefficient closest to zero. In other words, the smallest value. So is A really tiny or is it bigger? Is B the smallest, A, B, C, and D? Which of those numbers are closest to zero or the smallest number? And then part C, choose the coefficient with the greatest value. So out of A, B, C, and D, which one is the biggest number? Let's look at how we do that. First, we start with part A. We decide whether or not these values are going to be positive and negative. Now here are some notes that are really, really helpful. You've got to know this, so it might be good to put in your notebook. A positive leading coefficient, a greater than zero, makes the parabola open up. So if a is positive, it's going to look like this. So in, in this case, it opens up, so therefore a is positive. A negative leading coefficient gives a parabola that opens down. So let's look a little bit more about opening up or down. Here we can take a look and we've got some some examples. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare. If we have y equals 2x squared or a y and a y equals negative 2x squared, what does that look like? So here you can see that in the y equals 2x squared, all the y values must be 0 or greater, right? Because anything that we square, any x value that we square, either positive or negative, that's going to come out to be positive. And then it's going to be multiplied by the positive 2. So therefore, it's always going to be positive. That makes it point up. Now in this case, again, whatever number we put in for x is always going to be positive because we're going to square it. And then it's multiplied by a negative 2. So therefore, it will always be less than 0. So that's going to make it point downward. <coughs> All right, so for each of the coefficient, whether it's positive or negative, we can see, if we go back here, we see this one's a positive coefficient, this one's a negative coefficient, this one's a positive coefficient, and this one's a negative coefficient. So that's part A. So we could select positive, negative, positive, negative. Okay. Next, we look at part B. Choose the coefficient closest to zero. So once again, here are some notes, very important to understand. The wider a parabola is, then the smaller the coefficient, or the closer to zero. And a narrower pa parabola has a larger coefficient. So what we're looking for here is the widest parabola because we're looking for the closest to zero, closest to zero. So we look at this distance right here. Here the parabola is kind of medium wide. In if we look at B, it's sort of a little bit smaller, so that's definitely out. Here we can see, oh, that's really wide, so that could be it, and then D, that's really narrow, so that's out. And if we compare A and C, we see that the C is much wider, a wider parabola, so therefore closer to zero. So the answer for this one would be parabola C, or the y equals CX squared. Okay, on to part C. Here we want to choose the coefficient with the greatest value, or the largest the largest number between A 
B, C, and D. Now we know that that largest number is going to coincide with the most narrow parabola, right? So we look at these sizes and we say, okay, this one's kind of medium and this one's smaller, so that's out. I'm sorry, this one's smaller, so that could be it. This one's wider, so that's out. And this one's really narrow, so that could be it. So it could be A, B, or D. But we know that B and D are both negative. So that can't be the greatest value because those are below anything that's positive, And we know that A is positive. So therefore, A gives the narrow graph. A has the greatest value. So we can take a look here and see here are the final answers for all A, B, and C of all four of these parabolas.